I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos, where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, Patty Dominguez. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? I am doing phenomenal. However, it's snowy here in Chicago. However, I can handle it. All right, all right. Well, we do have that email there. Anytime you need it, let me know. I'll send it. It's filled with Caribbean sunshine, yeah? Oh, uh, I will take some of that and then some. <laughs> <laughs> well, Patty, do tell us uh, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time. So you and I uh, connected on LinkedIn. You had sent out a request to connect. I took a look and I thought that your movement, what you're creating is so compelling. I had to find out more and I was just completely intrigued. So it's a pleasure to be on. What's, well, that's fascinating. Now, one of the things our amazing audience doesn't have the uh, privilege of seeing is what that looked like, right? Uh, what was the most intriguing part of that message for you? So um, for me, it was just the fact that you had a purpose. You were, you have this vision for connecting with a thousand people and having them tell their stories. I thought it was just amazing. So I said, wow, this is so cool that in a very small part, I get to be a part of that. So hmm. I was all for it. That's wonderful. Well, again, one of your logos is that together we create, right? Yes. Yes, yeah. it is. That's Boom. right. So you walk the talk, right? Uh, yeah, as Love much it. as I can. Love it. Well, do tell us what you bring to market. What do you do, Patty? So um, for me, after a very long tenure in corporate America, I was in corporate, oh gosh, for about like 18 years. And then I just got entirely burnt out. I kept climbing up the ladder. And the, the higher I went, the more I realized I was like, oh, this is getting harder and harder. And, and alongside the income increase, there was more stress. And so the quality of my life was just taking, you know, a dramatic toll, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety about going to work, and it just really wasn't a fit. So in in January of 2013, I walked away from a promotion. Um, I walked away from stock options and whatnot, and and I said to myself, I have to do this on my own. So I I declared that I would be an entrepreneur, and since then, it has been the greatest roller coaster ride of my life, but I wouldn't trade it in for anything. And what I do is I help the women that I coach that are really over 40. Uh, a lot of them in transition, they're having an encore career, maybe reinventing themselves very much like I did once upon a time. And I help them with uh, crafting their story. You know, I always say when everybody's digging, you want to zag. And then from an automation standpoint, I help really broadcast and, and, and amplify their brand. Um, and so the, the process I teach is Zag Automate and Scale. And Scale comes after you have the right story, the right offers at the right time for that perfect customer. You can scale with, oh my gosh, all kinds of traffic. Mm -hmm. Love it. Why would you continue to repeat these skills, Patsy? How, how will I continue? To oh, repeat? no, sorry. My apologies. It's my yeah. Trinidadian accent. Uh, why will <laughs> you continue to repeat these skills? You know, you spoke of the roller coaster ride that it has been. Yeah. Why will you continue um, nevertheless? Well, for me, I, I mean, I see that the women that I work with, um, they each have such purpose in what it is that they do from, you know, from a psychologist that wants to help people, you know, feel confident again and understand their self-worth you know women who are, are working in the hispanic community um i have clients from all walks of life from any purpose that you can think of and it's just so inspiring to me to, to see their vision come to life and that's what fuels my fire because it's so important the impact of what they do is immeasurable where's the best place for someone that's listening that's resonating with what you're saying to connect with you Sure. If they want to go to zagandautomate.com, um, that is a branding pulse check that I put together. I found that people really enjoy that to say, hey, is my brand standing us apart you know, from the rest? Mm -hmm. Tell us one other thing, Pat, you've done consistently over the last three years, please. 
every year at the beginning of the year, I have a discussion with my accountant as we're reviewing the year and I say, okay, 10%. And 10% is this idea that I invest 10% of my income every year in coaching programs, masterminds, whatever it is. The more money I make, the higher, obviously, the amount of that 10%. But I can tell you when I started uh, investing in myself, the return on investment has been substantial for me because I put what I've learned, I put it into as much action as possible. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend investing 10%. How does that make you feel? Oh, it makes me feel phenomenal because I know that the best investment that I can make is not in shoes or flashy cars or really cool purses. It's uh, when I invest in myself, I just, you know, I get to meet new people, new opportunities, just new vision for what I want to create in my work. The brand of Patty Dominguez, right? <laughs> that's right. That's love right. Love it. Love it. So just to someone out there that's listening, why they should do what you've done by definitely putting uh, the intentionality into action by investing in yourself. Yeah. Well, I mean, for a lot of people, it's very daunting to say 10% of my income, taking it and put it into something, I'm scared, right? If the investment that you're going to make, let's say, into coaching or a mastermind, it can seem overwhelming, especially when that investment is 10000 20000 But I can tell you the people that you're hanging around with in those circles are very different than the people that you're hanging around with if you go to a conference that's free. It's just a mentality to it. That's something that I personally had to work through is just that, that broke-mindedness. Like, oh, I don't deserve it or that's too much. No, it's not. Entrepreneurs create new money. And it's really important that people have an understanding of that. Hmm. Amazing audience you're hearing it live here from Patty Dominguez. Now, Patty, is there another place you'd like people to connect with you? They can connect with me on LinkedIn. Just go to my name. Wonderful. It's, it's a great way to connect just like you did, Eagle. And she has it's that logo right there. Together we create. You know it's her. Once you see <laughs> that, right? But Patty, let's switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Patty, yes. what is your earliest childhood memory? My, or, my earliest childhood memory is going on a trip to uh, with my parents. And at the time, you know, my brother was little and I was on a plane and I was a performer. So I got in the middle, I got up in the middle of the plane and I sang a song because I thought it was like Shirley Temple. And, <laughs> wow. I said, and I was completely captivating with as many people as I could on the plane. And somewhere along the line, I lost that, that ability to not care what people thought. And now that I get, now that I'm older, I'm over 40, I realize I'm like, where did that little girl go? Because I wasted so much time being so weird about, or people that is. Are they going to laugh at me? What are people going to think? And I find that most people waste a lot of time with that. Wow. How old were you? I think I was like five. What was the song you sung? I don't even remember. All I knew, all I remember was that my mom took pictures. So there's pictures of me up there somewhere. And I was singing and dancing. And I thought it was so entertaining. Wow. <laughs> it's hilarious. Wow. Why do you think this memory is so clear? It's, it's so clear because I remember the feeling that I felt after my song was done. And people cheering for me and clapping. And I thought that was the coolest feeling. Mm, that's intriguing. Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Yeah, absolutely. I welcome I, it. I love the idea that even when everyone seems to be higher than the usual height that individuals are at, that you can still rise higher. That's beautiful. Wow, that's beautiful. Nobody's ever told me that in that way, and that's absolutely beautiful. Mm. Wow. If we fast forwarded to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? Probably the song by Duran Duran, Hungry Like the Wolf. <laughs> Hungry Like the Wolf. I loved it. Yeah, as an entrepreneur, it's so necessary to uh, have the personality as such, right? Where you're hungry. Absolutely. As a Most definitely. All right, Patty. Well, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Patty, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yes, absolutely. My children. Are you married? Yes, I am. How many children do you have? Two boys, 17 and 14. Do you believe in God? How can you not? 
Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes, very tight. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No way. How about three hours a week? Maybe at the most. What about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? It's about eight hours a day. You got me. If you party had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who Party Dominguez is, what would you say that is? Whenever, when everybody else is zigging, you want to zag. Definitely. Everyone is there sitting on the plane and there you go, zagging, standing up to sing, yeah? <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. That's right. Patty, again, this has been a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Yes, this took me a long time to understand. Don't wait to anoint yourself the expert. Claim that you're the expert. Say it out there. Tell as many people as you can because once you start declaring it and believing it, so will others. Love it. Patty Dominguez, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you, Angel. You're welcome. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.